hello all welcome and welcome back to my video so in this video we are going to see uh, two types of authentication basic authentication and OAuth authentication in service now for integration and we will be using uh, postman because obviously it's frequently used apart from that if you use any other third-party apps like Bruno insomnia and so you can you know reach out to me and I can tell you how to configure the same in that and um, I will be taking uh, last videos uh, uh, example as my reference to demonstrate here so in the last video I had created a scripted rest API uh, which displayed all the active incidents created by logged in user as the caller and if you haven't checked that out please please do and you can reach out to me in the comments uh, in case of any queries feedbacks and requirements so without any further ado let's begin so first of all let me show you a glimpse of what I did in REST API Explorer okay and this is it and uh, I'm sending it as admin so I have two incidents with me as caller let me just go to the table and show you two active incidents uh, so you can see two are closed and they are not coming up these two are active hence they are coming up you can see okay now the same thing uh, we will be seeing in postman using using basic auth so for basic auth you just need two things um, a username and password so let's just go to postman okay so I have created an environment wherein I have saved uh, password for admin uh, means it's system administrator and password for test so I have also created a test user let me just show you okay. and I have granted him uh, REST API Explorer access so he will also be able to access the REST API and uh, but the thing is I have there are no incidents with him as caller as you can see so that will be negative testing and yeah um, we'll be creating first using test API get let's copy the URL from here also in Turkey that's fine now in authorization I'll pass basic auth and instead of test user I'll pass admin okay let me descend it okay you can see two incidents same thing okay as we saw here in the rest API same thing we will see for test user no active incidents with you as caller now um, I guess the basic auth is done for the OAuth we will first need to create a application registry for uh, to generate client ID and client pass uh, client secret and for the external clients hmm? we will be selecting this create an OAuth API endpoint for external clients we will uh, leave the client secret as it is because it will auto generate just just give it any name okay uh, redirect URL just copy the URL of the instance and uh, yeah, and append it with redirect of two okay mm, that is it let's just save it okay you can see client secret is generated so here first we will have to uh, generate the bearer token for that also we will need this 
and in the body we will pass with this format we will pass username password secret and grant type give the value first obviously I'll be testing from testing as an system administrator okay. mm. client ID I'll just copy it from here client secret also I'll copy it from here Grant type will be password. Okay. And the post it will be appended with OAuth underscore to convert to. This is send it. Okay. So this is the access token. Now here we will select OAuth 2.0 and we will pass the token that is generated here. send it so you can see two of them now same thing we will do using test user so I'll just change the username and password okay generate it yeah this is the access token with test user same OAuth 2.0 and I'll just be changing the bearer token okay send it <laughs> no active incidents with US caller so that is all about basic auth and OAuth and obviously you can also test out other basics that were provided here uh, I'm selecting table API here it table API and table name I'll give let's say as incident hmm. <coughs> so this also you can test and let's say I will be going it through exclude reference link we don't need uh, fields same fields I will be accessing like uh, number Okay, let's just switch it like this. Yeah, number, short description, and state. And now, also, mark this is pump display value is true. Hmm. And apart from that, another query I'm writing is active is equals to true. And um, limit it to one. Let's limit it to ten. Now send it. So now you can get it. Same thing. Uh, so same thing. We can also do it here. Um, yeah. Same thing. We can do it here also. Just in the params, we will pass like all these things. This is palm query equals to true all these things will need to pass five okay mm, authorization is over 2.0 and it is with it is with test user let's generate for admin user This is for admin user. We just pass it here. Okay. And let's just send it. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, this is how you can do it even for uh, default uh, REST API methods which are provided by ServiceNow. 
so this is it for today uh, please let me know in case of any queries uh, feedbacks or suggestions in the comment section and please 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 like share and subscribe if you liked it or and this is the completely new series so i'm sure if there are any beginners or even if there are already people there you can take one or two things from the video definitely and thank you thank you so much bye